Welcome to IATVCanada.com, the industry with Chanel G. Remember to log us in each and every Thursday night, 9 p.m. sharp, right here on IATVCanada.com. Tonight, we have a very gorgeous, most beautiful, talented actor about to join us right here. And of course, his, let me just tell you guys something. You notice I'm wearing glasses? That's because his future is so bright. I need these glasses to kind of like, you know, just to see him. But I'm not going to give you his name yet. Just know that he was a graduate at Humber College, the theater program last year, one of the top students, and he's doing big things. LA Complex, Derek, I can't even remember all the topics right now, but you're about to just hear about him. So help me welcome the one, the only, the gorgeous, the cutest, single ladies, watch out, okay? Because obviously, I'm going to welcome Mr. Murray in the house. I pay you $25 every card you swipe. Working at the bar, you handle tons of credit cards every shift. You know, the last bartender was pulling down an extra $500 a shift. Just give it a try. I'll put it under the register. No one even knows it's there. Just think about it. You know, um, if Mark suddenly finds out about this... I'm not a rat. That's good. It's good for the both of us. What the hell are you doing? Talking to Zeus. You know what I'm talking about. What are you doing driving that car here? I got tired of taking the bus. You give me all this talk about how safe and low profile this credit card scam is, and you show up driving the time machine from Back to the Future. What are you doing playing footsies with the guy we're stealing from? I'm not playing footsies with him. You might as well be. Tell him that's not your car. But it is my car. Tell him it's not your car. Fine. You keep it in your pants. The race. Stay the retroactively. Thank you. The car is used, all right? It's not as expensive as it looks. But I shouldn't have brought it here. Well, I'll try and stop playing for scenes with the boss. Are we good? As you can see, I'm light-skinned. See, my father... Was white. Uh, you're half white. Half black. Just look, this black spot. Look, the point is, everyone takes me serious. Everyone. See, this place was stale. I created a movement. Is that jerk? Maybe. A spicy cracker? I like that. Huh? Like there's a deeper thing than crackers at work. Oh, there's crackers at work. But you're right. It's deeper. What is it you're not telling me? Oh, I can't tell you all my secrets now, can I? Sorry, man. You got it wrong, but uh, hey, if you want a paper I'm out of you... cop, okay? I know for a fact that you're a dealer. I've seen you here every single day. Well, I have money. If you don't want it, I'll be happy to take it to the coffee cart down at 50th and Lex. Have a great day. So help me welcome Mr. Matt Murray. This is the, look at him. Isn't he gorgeous? Oh, Lady. hush your face, hush your face, hush your teeth. How's it going? Hello, Matt. How you doing? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Wow, it's been a year since we last seen each other. Mm -hmm. And I mean, most people, actually, now they're going to know that you were just going to school just up the road. Yep, Humber, Theater Pro Humber College Theater Performance. And you, you graduated, mm -hmm. like, in the top of your class. Yeah, yeah. And so tell us a little bit, how did you get involved? in the theater program and what made you choose that path? Tell us a little bit about yourself first before we get into all the Right, right, right. Everything's happening. Um, well, uh, I was born and raised in Detroit, Michigan. And uh, when I was younger, I always had like this kind of like, like I wanted to, you know, perform for people. I was a, like a class clown every night, anything like that. You know, I loved, you know, making people laugh and doing different things, kind of performing. But I didn't know that could be a job. You know what I mean? Like you, I can do that as a career, you know? Really? So, um, when I was in high school, I kind of got into the acting a little bit more, and, uh, and then when, I say about um, 11th grade, my, my acting teacher told me that he wanted to send me to, uh, to an, a performance school in, in wow. Michigan, and I was kind of like, there, there, there was some things happening, I was kind of taken away from my family, I was brought back to my family, I didn't want to leave them again, so... 
uh, I, I turned that down. I was like, no, nah, it's fine. You know, I'm, I'm just happy you're performing in your classes. And that class, like, there's not a lot of acting in, in Detroit, especially like theater and things like that. Wow. You know, there's a lot of, you know, it's hard times, you know, back home. So, uh, so what he did, he told me um, to continue, and then he th he thought I should go to uh, um, college mm -hmm. for for theater. So, I when when I was coming out of college, I was actually gonna play football for Wayne State University in Detroit. Oh. And uh, my dad got real sick that year and almost passed. He's good now, but he almost passed that year, and so I took the year off to take care of him. Nice. And uh, when I was gonna go back into training camp, uh, he told my my teacher uh, John Bennett, that's his name, and mm -hmm. uh, I still talk to him every now and then. He, he's very wow. proud of me, so I'm happy about that. And he told me uh, to either go to L.A., New York, or Toronto for theater. Toronto. Yeah, because well, um, hey, is it, <laughs> a lot of people don't know, but Toronto's actually like the third like top um, film um, uh, city mm -hmm. in, in in the world, wow. you know, and, and it has a lot of uh, fantastic theater here. So uh, and also, and I'm I'm lucky because I'm I'm dual citizen. I, I kind of got a list of, of ladies I'm supposed to marry to take to the, you know, so. I, I, my my motto is as long as we go mm -hmm. with the honeymoon, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and hook it up. So, okay, ladies, I'm sitting um, beside him right now, so watch out. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so um, uh, he told me to uh, go to either LA, New York, or Toronto for theater, and nice. here it's a lot cheaper to go to to go to college. You know, like nice. at University of Michigan is like fifty thousand. I live in Detroit for a reason. I'm broke, <laughs> and you know so. So we, we couldn't afford that, you know, it wasn't a possibility. And even going to Wayne State, you know, I was trying to earn my way through a scholarship, you know. Wow. So that was the only that was the only possibility. So uh here it's you know, it's only forty five hundred, you know, for school and I was able because I'm Canadian citizen and everything, I'm I'm able to um apply for OSAP. So I did that and uh I ended up applying and, and um doing auditions for all the schools here and I got denied by all of them. Really? Yeah, mainly because uh, my grades, my, my my grades weren't enough to get into the universities and stuff. And uh, Humber and George Brown were the only two schools, and NTS, mm -hmm. but I didn't know about National Theater School in Montreal. Mm -hmm. um, and they were the only two schools that looked at um, the talent yeah. rather than the grades. Wow. So I went to George Brown, and uh, you know I got I didn't I didn't get in, and uh, and Humber was the last one, and I was like the choice was either I get into school. And, 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 and act here or go back home and work in the factory. Oh, wow. So, I, I you know, it was, you it was hard. yeah, oh, I worked my butt off, but it was, it was, it was pretty, you know, it was, it, it, it was, it was kind of sad, you know, kind of going into this, into Humber being like, man, this is my last, last opportunity. Yeah, you know, so I went in there and had a blast in it. And I even ended up kind of messing up in it. I was two hours late for it because. Nobody here knew where Humber was, you know, they didn't know oh, where Etobicoke wow. was and everything. So I'm going around the city. I, I was staying with some friends in Newmarket mm -hmm. and I came down here and I'm, I, I was just like, like all my friends in Newmarket is like, we don't know. So I had to come here early in the morning, just ask people in the city, where's, wow. where's Humber College? And they didn't know. They didn't know. So I would find every p people here and there and be like, oh, it's in Etobicoke. So I had to find out how to get to Etobicoke and then like get to go to Kipling, went to Kipling and I went to the North Campus. Wow. Because I asked for Humber College. I didn't right. know those two campuses. So well, went yeah, that's there. True. Most people know about New yeah, about North campus, campus, you know? Yes. So then I went there and then I went to the lake. I was like, I'm here for the theater auditions. And then she's like, I'm so sorry. And I was oh, like, what? Really? She was like, it's over at the Lakeshore campus. I was like, man, I was like, this is not looking good. The factory is looking like it's my future <laughs> right now. So, you know, so. I got to Humber and um, and uh, I saw one of my teachers, Captain Marion, and I was like, I was like, I'm here for the Humber auditions. I realized I'm a little late. Oh, before that, I saw this dude sitting in the hallway. He had a number on his shirt, and I was like, I was like, you here for the auditions? He's like, yeah. I was like, oh, okay. Where, where, where are they? And he was like, I don't know. People came and then <laughs> they left. I don't know really? And I was like. I'm gonna go find out. Hey, you, you go ahead and hang out there. So then I saw Catherine, and she's like, "Oh yeah, let's get you a number and bring you in and stuff." And then so she brought me in, and and this other guy was still sitting there. He's like, "You found someone?" I was like, "Yeah." yeah. And then, so we and both came in. There. Yeah, he's still sitting. There. So we both went in there. And, uh, I was, you know, obviously it, it was an eight-hour audition, which was wow. actually eight worked hours. for my benefit. Yeah. So because they do a whole bunch of different exercises with you to kind of get to know you rather than you know just, just judge you off of one, right. you know. Nice. So we did that, and uh, I even messed up a little.
little bit in there, but because I kept, I held it, you know, and it kept on going, they they lo they liked that, you know, about me. And then found out I got in and jumped on my dad's bed, jumped mm -hmm. on my dad and dad, son, 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 you grown man, get off me. You know, so it was a lot of fun. I was, I was so excited because college was never an option for me, you know. Right, more like the factory. Yes, <laughs> but, more like the factory, you know? exactly. So, you know, so, so uh, when I got in, I was so excited and, uh, it was it was perfect for me. It was absolutely perfect for me. And then I found out that Humber was the second rated theater um, school in, in all of Canada. Wow. You know, and the only one from that was NTS. You well, know? you know what? In our year, <laughs> Oyen Oy and I, uh, our year was well, ooh, we nicking up the heels. We were nicking up the heels when we did Theater Ontario. You know, wow. everyone's like, yo, Humber school, the school, the schools. I'm not allowed to really say that, but I'll say that. <laughs> But uh, yeah. But you know what? I mean, it, obviously it has to be your pa um, your passion because not only did you get in, mm -hmm. because now all those schools that you applied to, are gonna see or probably been watching you now. I said, yeah. damn, we should have took him. Yeah. You know how do you feel so far? I mean, we're not gonna get so quick into what you've been doing. Right. But I mean, you went to school. Mm -hmm. You finished Humber mm -hmm. with Oyen, of course, mm -hmm. and you guys were the top students. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously you work hard. So is it? Do you feel that it paid off? It's paying off now from what you you Oh, been completely, doing? completely. I, I think that I th I feel like everything happens for a reason, mm -hmm. and everything that I get, I guess denied from or or I'm not allowed or I'm told I can't do, it pushes me even harder to do. You know, mm -hmm. I, I feel like uh, work goes further than talent. You know, you can have talent. Anybody can have talent, but work passes talent when talent is lazy. You know, so if you have talent. You want your work ethic to be further than the talent because anytime your talent goes lazy, you still got your work ethic pushing you forward. True that. You know, and when you have both of them, and then it's a, you know, it's just the, it's just the, it's Denzel. Hey, what <laughs> Denzel? Like Denzel. I said, he's remember he said dual citizen, so soon to be you know the Canadian version of Denzel. But before okay. we, we we even get into all that, one thing that um showed me your work ethic mm -hmm. was last year when you were graduating from Humber mm -hmm. and you guys have like a theater program like the, the finals do you know the, yeah. the play yeah and how it was sold out yeah yeah I went, I, just tell the audience how did that prepare you to what you're doing right now it performed in front of a sold out audience yes. um Humber, your final chapter uh I think that you know it just it just it forced me to keep bringing it every night you know, because these people are paying mm -hmm. to watch us, to be entertained by us. You know, and you can't be lazy. I mean, doing, say, like, uh, 16 performances, mm -hmm. you know, um, it is, for some people, it can be, it can, it's a fight for it to be uh, um, mechanical, you know, to be just, yeah. just happening. So every night you got to make it new for yourself. You know, it's a different audience every single night. There's some audiences that are going to be very quiet. You know, not saying that they don't enjoy it, they just feel like it's more they respectful and quiet, you right. know. And then there's other audiences that are just like, hey, I'm going to yeah. show my appreciation by, you know, laughing on the parts where I feel are funny, you know, or, nice. you know, reacting to those things, you know. So um, I think doing that really prepared me because once I did a, I did a show uh, called Out the Window by Liza, uh, yeah, by Liza Balkin mm -hmm. um, while I was still in school. I was I was kind of balancing three shows at, at, at a time and doing that. It kind of it, it made me when when we had the sold out uh, uh, crowds for that it was it was just like okay I've done I'm doing this now I've, I've been doing this you know what I mean for, for right. so the audience so it's kind of like okay okay I'm used to this I, I gotta keep bringing it yeah and matter of fact I gotta bring it harder because I'm performing with David Ferry R H Thompson you know guys like that that they're just amazing, amazing. you know they have talent coming out accidentally, you know. Wow. So, accidentally. <laughs> yeah, you know. So I remember nice. when we were doing the readings, the first day I was sitting there like this, oh that's my script, I gotta make sure I do it right. And they started talking, I'm just like it was looking at the script and I'm like, look at these guys, man, they can't Oh right, my part. Um, you know, and it, <laughs> you know, so but I, I I watch a lot and learn from from people like that. I watch. I, I think my best learning is from watching. watching nice, people. nice. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little break from our mm -hmm. you know sponsor. We gotta inject our sponsors in there. You yes. know, we're trying to get it big and learn just like you. <laughs> yeah, we're yeah, gonna make it yeah. too. Yeah, yeah we're gonna make it. You know, sure. I couldn't get in your show twice. I went to that show and I couldn't get in. But you know what? We're gonna come back. You're gonna get to know what Matt has been doing. And you're gonna be surprised okay like i said the future is too bright so these glasses ain't coming off right now we'll be right back Gosh. 
Gosh. And them for the ones here, Jay, I say, it's my life. My life ain't easy. You know why? This life I'm living, it's not easy being me. It's not easy being me. All I see is poverty. And this life I'm living, it's not easy being me. It's not easy being me. All I face is pain and misery. Who is at my door? Poverty, poverty, no me can't take no more In a me life is like you're a big sore Can't get no medication, me can't find a cure Right now we need a better way Career the system set up more to get away From Babylonian dirty works Them no one will leave them one with dead and go under earth in go work. This life I'm living It's not easy being me It's not easy being me All I see is poverty And this life I'm living it's not easy being me It's not easy being me All the face is pain and misery Barefoot me know how that feel Hungry till all me lips them can't feel Sufferation me know say it feel No tell me say don't try to pick me them a squeal Me belly roll just like a thunder No yam from morning just pull me chokcha Ja know me wonder if there is a better way Cause me can hardly find food when me get me pay This life I'm living it's not easy being me It's not easy being me All I see is poverty And this life I'm living It's not easy being me It's not easy being me All I face is pain and misery Countless that's me got bed without meal Cause no money no dear to fully needs Believe see me with a smiling face But hungry and I'm out the belly with treats Janu, you know me fed up a hit See a full time now we want the beast to pitch So me send me message out in the music For all of those who appeal it, feel it This life I'm living It's not easy being me It's not easy being me All of this is pain and misery And this life I'm living It's not easy being me It's not easy being me All of this is pain and misery who is at my door? Poverty, poverty, no me can't take no more In a me life is like you're a big sore Can't get no medication, me can't find a cure Right now we need a better way Career the system set up more to get away From Babylonian dirty works Them no one will leave them one with they don't go under earth in our world This life I'm living It's not easy being me It's not easy being me All I see is poverty And this life I'm living it's not easy being me It's not easy being me All the faces pain and misery Welcome back to the industry right here on ITVCanada.com. I still have Mr. Matt Murray in the house. Yes, ladies, I'm kidnapping him, okay? <laughs> Take your eyes off of him. I have him right now. But we just seen the clips from all, what you've been doing so mm -hmm. far. LA Complex, mm -hmm. Suits, yep. and Crapper Factory. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, well, uh, the first one I, uh, well, okay, the first clip on that was uh, LA Complex. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had a blast doing that. Oh, man. Um, for that one, uh, I did, I was on the last four episodes of that, and we were going to, uh, they were going to up my, my part for the third season. Nice. Except they got canceled. Oh, oh. LA Complex got canceled? LA Complex got canceled. I watched that. Yeah, Seriously? I know, right? Yeah, it, it's been, like, people are raving about it right now, but I, um, it's because um, it was on the CW in the States, and, and it's one of those kind of things where if you're an artist mm -hmm. and you can kind of catch on, you know, quick to what's happening, but if, if, if you know, if if it's it's harder for someone to catch on if they're like midway through the season and stuff, so it's yeah, kind of like one of those true. things where you know yeah, it just it doesn't repeat much often because sometimes I mm -hmm. miss an episode and like I was yeah. saying to you, I just got to see your episode last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like you know, you know yeah, I was like, oh my god, that's mad, that's mad. Right. I'm so excited for you, you know. Uh -huh. So like, oh, I can't believe it's canceled. Yeah, I know, I know. Mm -hmm. I was just talking to one of the actors uh, last night. I saw him at an industry party we was at and. He was he was talking about the same thing, you know. But 
I mean, everything happens for a reason. I've been, you know, getting a lot of recognition of the jobs from that, so I'm, I'm happy about that. And then the second clip that we saw uh, was uh, Cracker Factory. And Cracker Factory, that is going to be made into a big full feature next year. We're shooting for that in Nova Scotia. Nice. Flying me out to Nova Ooh, Scotia. Nice. Yeah, and I'm shooting that. Um, that's the, the writer and director's name is Corey Bowles. Mm -hmm. And uh, amazing, amazing guy. And uh, he's one of the, he, he was a big um, actor on, on Trailer Park Boys. And now he's doing a whole lot of things now. And nice. uh, so he brought me onto that as uh, the main character. And uh, wearing on the street is most deaf. Uh, you know, is gonna be you know the char my 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 Whoa. character's best, best friend, friend, most deaf. Wow. Yeah. Nice. He was actually supposed to have the lead part, but then it turned into a mixed kid. You know, playing where, that part. Yeah, when you came in. So yeah, that, nice yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Always so, giving the the part. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, um, so that's that's gonna be huge. Like when I when I first read the script. Cause I did I did the short before I read the the full script, mm -hmm. and uh, and the short like people in New York are eating it up. Even entertainment here is eating it up, and uh, so it's it seems like it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then when I read the the full script, mm -hmm. I was just like I called Corey. I was like, man, all I gotta say is heart. This thing got heart. Like it's it's a comedy and it's funny, but it's got so much heart in it at the same time. Wow, you know? we can't wait to see that. There's a lot of ups and downs in that one, so that that's that's gonna be amazing. So we shoot that next. Uh, June and or, no next July I think we start in July mm -hmm. and then uh, the last one is Suits mm -hmm. so I did Suits um, I did I was on the last episode for for Suits and that was a lot of fun too that that those guys the director's actually from Detroit so wow. right away we you, you know we clicked. yeah we clicked right away right. and I actually just finished shooting a, a pilot uh, I was a main one of the main characters in a TV show called Guidance that was actually shot down the street. Yeah. Yeah, guidance. And uh yeah. who is those directors when I'm walking down the street? Huh? You, you know, you know. You know. So hey, there's a lot of things happening in Canada right now. A lot of <laughs> in Toronto. I was just on the Best Man Two um uh, uh you were set. Telling me that. Yeah, Morris Chestnut. Best Morris and, Chestnut lady. You know, Can you imagine Long this? Morris Chestnut looks <sighs> just like my brother. And, oh, and my when I met goodness. him in person, I was like, You do great work, brother, you know, and, and he, he just is he's, so handsome. He's a cool guy guys. too. Mm -hmm. He's humble, very wow, humble dude, you know. Nice. So, um, and Terrence Howard was there as well and everything, mm -hmm. so it was mm -hmm. really, really cool, you know, being there. So, um, but yeah, and then Guidance, Guidance comes out September. Check it on the web too. So it's going to come out on the web first so everybody knows about it. And then, wow. uh, and then on, on TV as well in September. So, and the director is also from Detro Detroit on that one too. I'm not the only okay, one that got Detroit. the hint uh, about to, uh, coming to yeah, Toronto, you know? I was just about to say, I'm yeah. beginning to visit Detroit, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, yes, you know, definitely. I need to meet some connection from Detroit. Yeah, you got your connection right here. Okay. <laughs> I got you. You heard that. You, you heard, heard that. Yeah, right yeah IUTV.com. We're going places, okay? Yes, yes. But anyways, Matt, we got to get back to you. Because right, we're right, here right. to make sure that, you know, I mean, I, I can't remember when it was. Because uh, what, what I was about to say in the beginning is that mm -hmm. I watched you grow. Yeah. When you were in school, you used yeah, to come here year. and you know do everything. Mm -hmm. I remember one particular incident. You were here, and a customer recognized you and called her daughter. Do you remember that? Yeah, her daughter was yeah, freaking out on the phone. Yeah. Oh, remember that light skin guy <laughs> on the complex? He's here, and the little daughter was just cursing yeah, the mom. Oh, yeah. why did you leave me? Why did you? Leave me? <laughs> yeah. You know when I saw yeah. like that touched me, right. and I, I saw how your work paid out. Do you feel mm -hmm. that? your hard work um, from Humber, because mm -hmm. I know you guys work hard. I yeah. saw you guys when you're doing all your... Very um, intensive, yeah, yes. you saw us do that. So, do you feel that all that paid off? or Completely. Know? To be honest, mm -hmm. everything now, Humber made everything now easier. Nice. Because they, 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 they put us through the intensiveness of what happens in the industry and what we're gonna go through. Mm -hmm. But then they kind of added on top of that because we also had some, you know, lecture classes and exams and then doing like a, 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 a like a big all play every one. two weeks and everything. Mm -hmm. And then, and, and with all those different things on top of each other, it's like, it's a balancing act, right. you know? And yes, the only way you can life. get through that is working hard and remembering that you love the passion for it, you know? Nice. That's what I always say. I say. I say one of the two most important things for an actor is patience and hard work. You know, because you have to be patient. You have to be patient for your for your time to come. You know, I personally don't even think my time's come yet. You know what I mean? I, it's it's getting there. It's, my work is coming. taking me there. Mm -hmm. But you know, um, it for for what I'm striving for, you know, it's it's not here yet. But with the hard work and patience that I'm that I'm I'm, I'm teaching myself to keep on having, 
is, is going to be here, you know. Well, you so, know what, we're like, I'm proud of you for everything mm -hmm. you've accomplished so far. Watching you on those clips, um, like, I'm looking at the clip, I'm like, wow, that's mad. You know, that's yeah, mad. That's yeah. all I can say. Like, right. it's amazing to mm -hmm. see how you've come so far, and yeah. I can only like see clearly through the future how big you're gonna get. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you're doing a movie that's coming. We're gonna talk about that next. Yeah. We're gonna take a little short break, mm -hmm. and we're gonna come back. We're gonna get into what you what's coming up. Okay. Okay. What's coming up for Matt? Your big project. Okay. Okay, so be right back on your itvcanada.com. Be back. You know, they say that the choices we make on our own. You know, I wonder where we're all going to be at in 20 years. Maybe I'll be a famous artist, you never know. Or maybe one of us will get married and settle down and have a kid. Maybe not, you know. And who are we but the people we surround ourselves with? It's crazy to me, you know? We love them, but we hate them all at the same time. Or maybe we just all hate each other. Nah, that can't be it. That's third. Alright, so look. I got a job. So I got this dude that lives up the street with me, right? He's been putting in two and doing good. Yo, come, look, it's easy, dude. Look, his parents ain't home. It's just him. He's alone. choices that we make on our own. Yeah, but that's bullshit. Welcome back to the industry. And of course, I still have Mr. Matt Murray in the Hello. house. Yay. <laughs> I can see clearly. The, okay, let's not get I'm sorry. I'm about to get in touch with it. Oh, I can't sing. For, if my life depended on it. But, I'm happy I'm I got you. you know, we were talking about um, your, your clips before we left. Mm -hmm. And, you know, something about Cracker Factory. It intrigued me. Mm -hmm. Elaborate a little bit about it. Okay, um, Cracker Factory is about a character named Andre, who is uh, half white, half black, and um, he doesn't realize that he's half white, half black, because he grew up with his mother, who is black, mm -hmm. and his father is white, but he never met his father, but his mom never let him know no. about his father. Oh, so, nice. him and everybody in the neighborhood, they live in the, in the hood, and, and everybody thinks that he is, he just has the Michael Jackson disease. He, that's quote unquote. <laughs> Quote unquote. Okay. So everyone just thinks that you know he's light skinned like like Michael Jackson was, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, he finds out uh, that this lawyer comes in and, and, and is looking for him and, and, and tells him, okay, uh, your father passed away and he's he's handing down a cracker factory to you because wow. he owns the cracker factory. So he goes, he's out of the hood, and, and he's one of those guys that like he he, he wants to do like some type of black revelation thing. Like he makes like a a black golf ball and. <laughs> A honky puck and all these different things that, <laughs> really? that just don't work because they don't work, you know. Right. But he's like, but he was trying. Because, yeah, he's just like, oh, it's because it's black, you know. <laughs> so that's just the kind of character he is, you know. So he goes um, with this lawyer um, mm -hmm. out to Hickville mm -hmm. and uh, to this cracker factory, and uh, he finds out that he's half white, and this is um, like it hits him hard 
right? But then he finds out, you know, his favorite person in the world is Malcolm X. Malcolm X is also mixed, you know, mm -hmm. like black, right? Very mixed. So he's like, you know what? It doesn't matter, man. He's like, I can be like Malcolm X. I can, I can make something. You know, I, I can bring, I can make this cracker factory a uh, success and bring it to the hood for my people. You know. So he's always thinking about the hood. Exactly, all the time. He's always <laughs> thinking about his people. So what he does is, um, uh, he, he brings all his friends mm -hmm. up to this this factory. Oh, and the factory is run by all white people. Okay, and he's not allowed to to fire any of the Anybody. white people. And these guys are kind of like they kind of like the guys that uh uh, uh that they, they they work but they don't live to work you know what I mean right. they go to work and they're like play around twenty minutes past the break right. you know so and they keep disrespecting him and his boys are kind of like yo man why you keep them disrespecting you stuff right. like that so he kind of goes off the hinges a little bit and uh, accidentally comes along slavery reverse slavery. Are you kidding me? Mm. So wh when is this coming? Out? Like when do we, okay, we so get to watch this? It's sound intriguing already. It, well, we were supposed to shoot it in, in September and October, but mm -hmm. I was invited to the top film conservatory, um, actors wow. conservatory in the country. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm going to be doing that. And I called the director. I was like, I was invited to the CFC actors conservatory. And he's like, do it. I'll push the movie to next year. Nice. Do it. So nice. like, all right, so I'm, so I'm going to be doing that. And uh, so we're going to be shooting out in Nova Scotia next July. We'll be shooting out through the summertime, so it'll probably come out maybe early 2005, 15. Well, you know what? You like have that. to keep us updated on mm -hmm. that because that's a story that sounds very interesting, funny. Everything yeah, oh, it's hilarious. Day. That's that's the one that you know most deaf you know is uh, um, hoping to be on it, and everything like that. You know, so and that one is is very funny. And if 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 slavery ever came back yeah. accidentally, this is how it happened. But it's not all about you know slavery and stuff. It's about him making a bad, a bad decision and realizing what he's doing and trying to fix it. But just, he's a sloppy dude, you know. Oh, I can't wait for that trip. So, yeah. And now we're going to talk about dirt. Yeah, dirt, What dirt. you have coming up. Okay. This is now when I can take off my glasses. Because uh -huh. I can clearly see now <laughs> where going. So, right. let's talk about dirt. Okay, so mm -hmm. dirt, dirt, that's, uh, that's made by Andre Rehal. Mm -hmm. and uh, Andy McQueen and uh, both of those guys amazing guys and they they actually remind me of Corey Bowles a lot and the freedom that they give us on set and things like that and uh, Dirt is about a relationship between three best friends in you know in the streets you know and, and uh, it's not based on the streets and what happens in the streets it's based on a friendship and what happens with friendships it's it's trying to catch the authenticity the, the realness right. of what happens you know in, in friendships you know what i mean and yeah they're in a, in, 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 a, a, in a tough situation in the hood and stuff but it's not all bang bang you know shoot them up you know it, it there's what happens after that shoot them up happens for example yeah so right? okay so so okay for for instance uh these guys yes they they it's, it's very funny in the context of how they play just like everybody else does you know what i mean it's showing that People in the hood are normal people, you know what I mean? They, they laugh and joke, if anything, even funnier than people, you know, in suburbs or something like that. So, <laughs> so you know, if so it, it shows that relationship and it's real funny in that sense. And then they make a choice, they make a bad decision together. Mm -hmm. And everything starts to spiral down after they make this decision. But it's not spiraling down in a sense where it's just like, oh, everything around them starts getting bad. It's, everything in their in their relationship in this in this brotherhood wow. it starts to break them up all from a decision that they made and, and what so, the consequences in life can be you know following it because they all have um talent in something you know they all have a dream and they all have the choice to either go this way or this or way, that way. And they go this way, way and this is what could happen yeah. if they go this way you know and, i mean it, it does show us what was like the whole story not like mm -hmm. um say for example boys in the hood boys in the hood i mean it what happened, happened after and then we don't know what happened like yeah like yeah you know raheem died and then this person but then what happened like right. you know what i mean right. are we gonna get that full story yeah 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 yeah, definitely. It, it, yeah, because they make the choice. Because it, it, in the trailer, um, uh, they the, the choice is in the trailer when they rob this guy. Okay? And in the trailer, it kind of looks like that's the big thing that happens. No, that's the big thing that happens that makes everything go down. down. You know? Okay. So that's that's what it is. So it's just kind of showing what happens to this point. And then what we're gonna, what we're about to start shooting is what's what's happening after that. Well, you know, you the need to keep us up to date when you Definitely know. Will. I mean, don't just come here now and then say, "Oh well, we're calling you and 
Oh, uh, come on, I'm not like you know me better than that. We, we just want to make right. sure our audience, you know, got this on tape. That's oh, what, definitely. Yeah. I'm, yeah. hey, these, uh -huh. these, these are my people. These mm -hmm. are my people, okay? They've been cutting my hair and making me look good and, 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 and <laughs> keep me in check for the past three, four years, you know? So it's, it's Well, good. we just want to make sure, you know, we got yeah. that on tape, you know, in case. We're calling you or Owen and we don't get you texting. Oh, uh, no, and you know, I got you. Yeah, we got, got we got it in writing. Yeah. You know, video writing. Video, right, right. Okay. Copyright. Yes. Copyright, right. Okay. okay. So now, you. you know, we know you have all these projects coming mm -hmm. out or soon to be coming out. And guidance, too. Watch out for oh, guidance. Yes. Watch out for guidance. That's yeah. coming out in September. And it'll be on, uh, just look up guidance.com. Um, check it on the website. It's coming out. Uh, we'll have the full season out in June. And then it'll be all over TV. But check it out on the website. You can watch all the episodes in June. And uh, so that's that's going to be funny. And I'm going to make characters in there. Yeah, we want to know Facebook. Well. Yeah, you have yeah. a fan page or is, is it just your At the moment, it's just, it's just it's my personal thing. You know, uh, I like I like reenacting with people, my fans and stuff in person. Well, you know, just like tell that. them where they can find you on Facebook. Uh, Matt Murray on Facebook. Um, Twitter? Twitter, yes. Uh, Matt Murray 28 on Twitter. So. There you go. Anywhere else, any other social, you know, network? Cause I can't do this Instagram and all these. Uh, I'm not too old. I'm too young for it. <laughs> <laughs> so anything else? Anywhere else? Any other um, social network? Those are the main two I'm on. You know, and uh, yes, reach me out on those two, and I'll get right back to you. I, 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 I do it. I do that. Okay, like and also, concerns. like you heard, you'll be keeping in contact with IATVCanada.com. So make sure you log in each Thursday or just log in. We have news updates, everything. We'll have an update. Mm -hmm. Dirt will be having more and more trailers. Oh, there so you keep go. checking and out we'll those be, trailers. Yes, we'll be contacting them for those trailers. Mm -hmm. So make sure you keep an eye on this cute, handsome, you know. But remember, I got it first though, right? Team my girl. Team my girl. Team my girl. Yeah. <laughs> so remember to keep an update. Follow him on Twitter. You know, check, check him out on Facebook and keep, you know, keep everything going. Wait, 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 hold on, because our director is signaling us for something, but we need to know what it is. Okay. I love three. I love. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry. I love IT. Oh, okay. Yeah, I you love, love IT. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, we got it now. You. Okay, IETVCanada.com, the industry technology. We thank you for watching. Thank you. Keep it locked on IETV Canada. You got your boy Matt Murray here, here for life. Stay updated.